everybody. Um, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys a little info information about what happened yesterday. I know I already posted it, but I wanted to be a little more clarified. Sorry. Every video I do, I yawn. I don't know why. Maybe it's early, but the last video went early. Um, I'm having my sleeve surgery. Congratulations to me! Um, I am having it... October 24th, which is on a Tuesday, I will be able to come home on a on Wednesday of the 25th as long as I can get up and walk and drink as much fluids as they need me to and do what I need to do while I'm in the hospital. Um, I'm still a little s scared, but... Very happy that this is getting done before the holidays. This gives me time to be able to heal and then start exercising and let my body rest and get ready for the holidays because I know it's going to be woof. But that's if we get invited to any of the holidays. Um, we tend to don't get high, uh, invited to the holidays anymore. Not going to go into that, though. If you guys want to know, you can ask me in a message. Um, but I have started my pre-op diet, like I've told you guys. Daggone it, I can't stop yawning. My pre-op op diet, where it's two shakes, jello or baby food, jello in between, sorry. Lots of water, Gatorade, and then dinner at night. And then two days before my surgery, it's all liquids, just the shakes and water. And then I got to take my medicine. Can't take my vitamins the day of the surgery. Um, I just feel bad because I'm going to leave my, my four little puppies at home. There's two of them sitting there. Sorry about the mess of the house. One sitting there. And then the other one has to sit in his bed because they all argue, so the other one has to sit in his bed. Um, hubby is going to take care of me for two weeks. He's taking off work to stay home with me to take care of me and our babies, our fur four-legged furry babies, and our fish. Oh, yeah, we got a little fish up there. You guys have probably seen him in videos. I can show him to you if you can see him. That's his tank. We don't have, the light don't work no more, but it's okay. It, we'll get him a light. But I know I'm kind of off subject, but I'm trying to keep myself from yawning. I don't know what it is. Um, it's just going to be a little nerve-wracking being away from home, away from my dogs. And I'm still nervous, not about the scars on the outside, but the inside the actual scar that's going to be on the inside. But my fiancé looks at me and says, if you can do your gallbladder, which they probably did the same thing, but it's smaller, I'm I'm so hopeful and well assuring that you can do this part. And I appreciate everything he says. He's a very big supporter for me. Um... He's about the only one that supports this. I mean, my parents support me, and my landlord lives next door to me, and she's known me since my brother was a baby, and she supports this. Um, I include her as family. I include her as my aunt. Um, my mom and them are supportive of it, but they've got their own thing going on right now. Um, I'm just... I'm scared, anxious, and excited at the same time. I'm going to try to let the next two weeks go slow. I don't want it to go fast because I want to be able to get everything ready. Because I got to make sure my my lin bed linens are clean before I come home. I got to pack my overnight bag. Thank goodness I don't have to take my CPAP. I just have to take the mask and the strap that holds it. I didn't want to have to take that thing all the way to the hospital. 
Um, my fiance's got to put his stuff in the overnight bag. He's got to stay with me. Um, I gotta make sure I find him some snacks to take in there, cause I don't see him getting any snacks anytime soon. So he gave him a little puppy. That's a Mystic Falls. Sit down. Um. I know this video is kind of boring. Um, I've been sticking with my diet. I kind of cheated this morning, but I was starving and I had to, but I took, drank my shake today and I'm right back on it and ain't got nothing to worry about. Um, my, if you all don't notice, my clothes are almost practically falling off me. I lost 18 pounds with the seven month program that I did for the weight loss surgery. And before that, starting December 29th of last year, all the way till now, I've lost up to 36 pounds. It wasn't 52 like I thought it was. I had to backtrack myself and look. But um, I'm going to take you guys along with me for the hospital ride. Um, it'll probably just be a video of the hospital building. I can't really do a video before I go into surgery because they don't put you in private rooms. They put you in little curtain rooms before the surgery because the hospital's not that big. But I will have my fiance, or my husband, I'm sorry. I will have my husband videotape me right after I go into my recovery room where we're going to stay all night and let you guys see how I'm doing. And then I will ask him to videotape me uh, walking around in the hall because I can't walk by myself and I will show you guys some videos of me trying to get the electric light Gatorade down because I think they give me Gatorade and they'll be giving me some water and I think some ice chips and broth and this hospital doesn't send you home with any pain reliever they send you home with Tylenol 3 and a very light generic pain reliever, but it's not anything we would expect. Which, that's fine. I got a heating pad. I know where to put it if I have pain. I know how to relax myself if I hurt. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. But I told my husband, I said, you got to take some snacks with you because it's not fair that you're going to have to sit there for 24 hours without anything to eat. So I'm going to try to pack him a little cooler before we go for him to have snacks because he's got diabetes and I want to make sure he's going to be okay as well as me. I know it's going to be that, that whole night and days will be about me, but I worry about his health too. And I don't care if anybody gets mad, but we worry about each other. We hold each other accountable for everything. We make sure each other eat when we need to or drink when we need to. And that's the way it should be. And if anybody doesn't think that he takes care of me, he takes good care of me. He goes to work every day, slaves his rear end off to take care of me and our little baby, furry babies. And I'm saying this because something got said to me yesterday by one of my parents and it kind of upset me. Mm -hmm. But I'll be showing videos of him taking care of all of us. It'll be short films. You guys won't hear him talking, but you will see him taking out the dogs and helping me around the house. So if you guys have any questions or you want a video longer, we can go to YouTube or Facebook and do a live or do a longer video. video. And I'll see you guys there. Just give me some comments and I will... You can see my links for my other pages on here. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye-bye. God bless.